Um, I am participating in the My Teaching Partners secondary program uh, from UVA. They approached me about a year and a half ago and asked if I would be interested in participating in this research study. And they, they told me all these wonderful things. And then they said, and we're going to give you a video camera. And every two weeks, you're going to videotape your class and send it to us. And then we'll talk about it. Um, <laughs> I was very put off by that. <laughs> I don't mind people coming into my classroom when you had videotaped evidence of it. It's a little unnerving. But I had just taken on the 11th grade curriculum, and it's an SOL tested year. So I was very nervous. So I thought any help would, would be great. So I signed on for it. And I videotaped my class first time in October of last year. And was really nervous when I put that little memory card in the envelope and mailed it off. And then a couple of weeks later, my consultant she contacted me. She said, OK, I've pulled some great video clips. They're up online. I need you to go watch them and respond to the questions. And then we'll talk about it. And we do telephone conferences. I know some of the other teachers who participate in the program do Skype. Um, I prefer talking to Sharon you know, on the phone. Um, and I was really blown away with that first cons uh, consultation because she had pulled three clips that were about a minute, a minute and a half each. and she had talked about the various um, parts of the class rubric that they, um, that, that, that they talk, that they hit on. And we got to really hash it out for an hour, an hour and a half, that first consultation about everything that I was doing right and things that I could do to make the class go better and you know, work better. Because um, I was really nervous. The class I had chosen to videotape wasn't my best class. Uh, which is why I chose that class, because I needed all the help I could get. Uh, and I was watching the video clip, and I'm seeing it from my point of view, going, oh, this lesson's going horribly. Uh, you know, this kid is doing this over here, and this kid is doing this. And Sharon helped me see that while they may not be doing what I would have thought would be perfect for that class, they were still engaged in the lesson. They weren't, you know, daydreaming. They weren't putting their heads down and going to sleep. If I asked a question of a kid who I thought wasn't paying attention, they were on point the whole time. So she, it really helped me kind of step back and see, OK, just because they're not all sitting there perfectly still and staring at me with these bright expressions um, doesn't mean they're not paying attention and getting the lesson. Excellent. And so you're in the second year of this My Teaching Partner Secondary yes. project. Is that right? Yes. And as I understand it, there are some teachers that are um, part of the program but are not getting the same kind of coaching that you're getting? We have some teachers who videotape every couple of weeks and they send their, their videotapes off but there's no consult. They just tape the class and send it off and then UVA uses that for their for, for their program and then there's those of us who they videotape and then we have the consultant and we get a lot of that hands-on uh, and my consultant is great anytime I need anything and sometimes she just tells me how yeah, that class was bad. <laughs> She's honest. Yeah. Thank you, Danielle. So, Noreen, could, tell us a little bit about how Observation's working at Apple Tree, and and I should um, pause to give a little bit of context for those who don't know. Um, Apple Tree was a winner of one of the I three Investing in Innovation grants, and through that has been developing a tool that they'd already kind of started crafting, from what I understand, called quality indicators, uh, which is a, an observation tool that's looking at preschool and pre-kindergarten um, teaching, correct? But you have also been observed under some of, so under the class tool and another tool, Elco. the ELCO, um, which we describe in our report, um, which is looking at an English language uh, acquisition and learning right. concepts as well. So tell me a little bit about what the observation has meant to you at Apple Tree. Well, we start, I am most familiar, I think we started out my first year when I was at DC Prep using Class and Elco. Um, I would, I, that would make it three years since I've been using Class and Elco. Um, I have been more, um, had more experience with Class and Elco. And then on my, which is my first year here, my second year using Class and Elco, we started using quality indicators. And um, what that meant for me was more observations. I had my coach coming in. She observes me with a quality indicator three times per year formally. And she'll refer to them on a continuous basis based on what my needs are. Um, to be honest with you, I never liked the idea of being you know, watched, um, especially, it feels intimidating because you're doing what you do every day and someone comes in and they're at the back and they're typing and you're like, what on earth am I saying now? Is it good or is it bad? Um, but how it has really helped me is that um, 
when I ask, you know, how was the lesson? Which, I mean, I've been teaching for 10 years. I usually get, the lesson was good. And I'm like, but, or how, or what does that mean? Or what could be improved? Because I am eager about knowing how something could be improved. How, the t how could it be better? What next could I do? How could I bump up that learning experience for my kids? And she will look at me and say, okay, based on the different indicators on the quality indicator, you did well on, let's say, student engagement, but your conceptual development could have been better. Um, for last year, because when, in preparing for this discussion, I thought back on my experience, especially last year, uh, when I had great coaching. My coach has been so great. Um, she comes in and she watched me again. Um, and she came back to our coaching, our team meeting, or our coaching session, and she said to me, the lesson was great, but I think that you could have bumped up, uh, what was it, supporting, check, supporting and checking understanding. And of course, it wasn't something that I had thought about before, but it made me put into context, you know, what am I doing? How could I have checked for understanding? And that brought up other issues that I hadn't thought about before, even though I've had great lessons, if you get what I mean. So it leads to that level of specificity that I like. Um, there are areas that I'm very strong in. I'd be very strong in, for example, pro-social behavior. But, you know, she comes and she says to me, okay, how could you check for understanding? How about you use a graphic organizer? What is a graphic organizer? And she sits with me. She will even come in and model if, for example, I'm not too comfortable, I'm not too sure how to use it or how to implement it. She will come and she'll model for me when, at the next, in the next week and show me how I could effectively use a graphic organizer for a lesson, and that has helped me so well. <laughs>